Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. First of all, you guys know the drill. If you guys could please smash that like button, I'd really appreciate it. If you guys could leave a comment down below, I don't care what it is. It really helps the channel out. Anyways, it's Thursday morning. It's bright and early. We're back in the shop. Today is my birthday, so happy freaking birthday to me. Um, I treated myself this week, like I said in the last vlog, um, to a week of working on my own projects. Now, I had this week scheduled out since about January, so I've been very excited and I wasn't about to let anybody any customer, any job, anything get in my way. So super pumped to be in the shop working on my own projects. It's been fun coming to work. I mean, it's fun coming to work every day, but um, even better when you get to work on your own projects. Now, um, we do have my 1968 Chevy C10 in the shop. Now, as I said in the last vlog, this is not gonna be a full restoration. This truck is not perfect by no means, um, but it is all there, it's complete. Um, if anything, we're, we're making it and we're preserving it. So we're making it into a shop truck. So we decided to go with a satin hot rod black and we're probably gonna do some vintage um, shop door logos across this entire door. So I'm still kind of coming up with some designs for that. I've got a couple of ideas. Um, I'm kind of crossed between um, pinup style girl and uh, maybe even like some like cartoon like bombs or uh, dynamites or something like that to go with like the nitro or a nitrous oxide bottle something like that with the nitro auto lab logo of course of course we'll do something a little more vintage and of course it's going to be hand painted so we will be picking up some pinstriping paint um, and some pinstriping brushes to uh, start practicing um, I may depending if I want to go with like a pinup style girl I'll probably have to source out an artist so if anybody knows of any pinstripe artists or anybody that's really good at like um, hand painting or especially pinup style, tattoo style, um, stuff like that, um, get a hold of me. I'd love to know who they are and I'd love to reach out to them and see if they're interested in um, doing this. So anyways, back to the project. Um, I was thinking all last week on how to um, do this truck in a way where I'm happy and uh, satisfied with what I've done and not only that but um, done it efficiently in five days so if you can see the hood is torn off now if you look it's hard to tell and but I did sand the not only just the entire exterior but I did go ahead take some remove some harnesses I removed the radiator and fan cover um, we removed the hood removed the cowl and we removed front and rear glass and I actually sanded now you can see different layers of paint. It's not perfect. It's not gonna be perfect. Um, we could slave and kill ourselves trying to sand and sand this perfect and it still wouldn't be perfect at the end of the day. But the goal was to get all the loose debris, the rust, anything that's flaking off, sand it off. So that way we can apply some um, epoxy black primer and then uh, two coats of hot rod black and call it a day. So this thing will be completely coated inside and out. Um, I did figure out a plan to do not only the exterior of the truck, but to come in and spray the engine compartment, the inner wheel wells, the cowl, the underhood, the hood hinges, the jams of the fenders, the radiator support, um, pretty much everything. Of course, the glass is out, so we're gonna be painting all the way up to that pinch weld. Um, same thing with the rear. Now, and I was gonna, today, the plan is to, um, sand the entire cab you can see i have the front end sanded i skipped the cab and i jumped to the bed because that was quick and easy so i've already sanded the front bulkhead i've sanded the um bed sides i've sanded the rear roll pan the tailgate inside and out of the light pockets In the jam of the tailgate i i've sanded in here now anything that's hard to stand like these areas i have a very aggressive wire brush that i stick in there and it just loosens up and scratch puts a good scratch um, so we are looking for a good mechanical bite and not only that but the wire brush helps get any dirt and debris out of the corners and crevices and uh we'll rely on cleaning it good with wax and grease remover and, and hope for a good not only mechanical bite but a chemical bite as well so now I also have the passenger side of the bed sanded. Now you can see down here I have a couple like light fills up here as well. Now there were some holes and there was a couple over there as well. Um, I put a couple fills there, 
I welded a couple more holes. The previous person that was doing work on this truck just filled the holes with Bondo, and I don't like that. So the ones that I did see conveniently, I knocked out with a punch and uh, grinded them bare metal, and I welded them up real quick. So nothing fancy because obviously we still have some rust and stuff on the front of the fenders and the bottom of our doors. So I wasn't trying to get too carried away because it's not going to matter if there's a little bit of a, a hole or a crevice or anything like that. But I figured while I had the welder out because I was trying to at least get the bed holes welded up because I do plan on after this is painted, probably in a week or two, hopefully we'll get it back in and we're going to go ahead and do a Raptor liner on the truck bed and the inside of the truck bed floor. Now let's see if I can open this. I can't do it with one hand guys. So, um, and with that being said, I, I might end up doing like a clamp style bed cover, like a Velcro roll up to just kind of like cover the bed. So we'll probably look into seeing if there's some pretty fairly inexpensive tonneau covers for the back of this truck that would, uh, make it like a clean look and keep uh, debris out of the truck bed. I don't really want it full of leaves. And uh, Raptor liner looks really good if it's preserved. So um, the more we can keep it out of the natural elements like the sun, the heat, the rain, the snow, all that stuff, the better it will remain. So there you have it. Um, so the bed is completely done. Um, I just got to take the DA real quick and knock down these light skims of filler on a few of the spots that I welded up. Same thing with the front fender. And then today, our mission is to prep the cab, not only the outside, but the inside as well. Um, we are going to ignore the floor. The fuel tank is going to stay. Um, we are going to prep the inside of the doors, the door jam, the roof of the cab, and the entire dash. We are going to ignore the floor. Like I said, um, that is going to get Raptor lanyard in the near future, probably most likely at the same time that we do the bed. We might do it quick and faster earlier and get the seat back in so we can get the glass and all that stuff back in. I did remove the dash pad. Um, when I got the truck, it had an extra dash pad sitting in it. I thought it was black. It does appear that someone's painted a green one, but that's okay. It's in really good shape, so we're going to go ahead and scuff, paste, all that off and prep this just like it was a raw plastic bumper we're going to apply some adhesion promoter and then we're going to go ahead and trim black this piece as well i do have only one steel door panel it's red pretty beat up right now so we are going to look for a another door panel if i have to buy a new one i will they do make repops so um, you can see i got the dash cluster and the interior dome light the vents shifter plate visors all sorts of stuff out of the cab already so like i said today the mission is to prep the exterior of the cab the doors the door jams as well as the dash and the ceiling of the cab so um, we are going to ignore the floor we're going to tape off our gas tank we're going to tape off um, our ignition and our climate control we're going to put a bag around our engine we're going to have this thing up on jack stands we're going to throw uh, wheel covers on the front and rear, rear tires and wheels and uh, blow it off, wipe it down, and we're going to get painted. So everything's going to be hot rod, satin black, inside and out. Now, instead of working upside down, prepping the hood and working around painting the underside of the hood while it's on, I went ahead and just decided to get it done. So this is actually what it's going to look like. Now you can see I still have some dings. That's okay, we still have some rust, and that's okay because we're gonna get a lot of enjoyment out of this truck and keeping that patina look is, uh, it's gonna be pretty cool, pretty fun. And uh, it would cost me about $20,000 out of my own pocket plus months and lots of time that I don't have um, to restore this truck the way I would want it restored. So doing this and going with the vintage style look is uh, gonna be the best route I believe for this truck. And uh, if, if anything, it preserves it from rusting anymore. And if we want to restore this truck in 10, 15 years from now, we can go ahead and do it. So I went ahead and did the cowl as well. So it came out really, really nice. Really, really happy with how it looks. And there's the underside. So nice and protected. We got our black epoxy primer. So everything's going to be coated inside and out. Um, you can tell the difference between this and somebody that just 
um, rattle bond their truck real quick. So the difference between this and that is extraordinary. And uh, it's hard to tell right now, but the underside of the hood's done as well. Looks really, really, really nice. I was able to get a lot of debris with just wire brushing and sanding it. So super pumped with how this looks. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of the Hot Rod Satin Black. This is a three-part paint. It has a urethane um, black paint, which is in this can is four to one. So we get four parts, this, and then a one part um, 2K activator and one part reducer. You mix that up and you spray. And over a black epoxy primer, um, it, it coats really easily. So pretty happy with this. I went with this because I did want something that um, had, a hard, had a hardener in it to hold up against the um, nature and the elements, of course. So I usually use Sem Trim Black, and I usually just use that one-to-one -one with straight reducer, no hardener. And it looks really good even after years and years, um, even in the sun. And that's how I've always done it. But over the years, I've kind of thought that hardener not only adds a little bit of sheen in that paint, so it doesn't really make it glossy, but definitely adds a little bit more of a sheen, but also adds a little more protection um, against the elements. So super pumped let me know what you guys think um today is kind of the deadline um to get this thing completely prepped and in the booth because tomorrow we have to paint it we have no choice we got to get it painted we got to get back to customer jobs next week so super happy i do believe and confident that i'm going to get the inside prepped and the cab prepped today um it shouldn't be anything too crazy um, we just got to focus on the cab today and uh, get this thing blown off, get it in the booth, put the hood and the cowl out here, and uh, um, we'll go ahead and uh, get this thing painted up tomorrow, which should take about three hours, probably total of spraying inside and out to do. Um, doesn't seem like it would take that long, but there's lots of nooks and crannies. The fact that I got the hood and the cowl already done is super nice, so super pumped. Um, let me know what you guys think of the Satin Hot Rod Black. Um, also, let me know what you think about the door logos. Um, I'm kind of twisted between just doing like a cartoon style image of like a, a bomb or a rocket or a nitrous bottle. Um, but I would really like to have like a pinup girl um, somehow involved on there as well. I think that'd be really cool, really fun. So anyways, um, we'll hop on over here in the lift bay. Now, I didn't really have time to work on the CRV like I had hoped this week but I was able to drain the oil. Now, when I drain the oil, um, you can't tell now, but um, there was just as much water as there was oil coming out of the oil pan. So if you guys want, I actually uploaded a video right before this one of the CRV um, getting its oil drained. And uh, you can see the 50-50 split of water and oil coming out on the bottom. So pretty crazy. Um, I did put brand new NGK Iridiums in there. I did take off the plastic covers um, as well as the one on the motor because I'm going to choose the best cleanest set which they're both pretty clean to reinstall but I didn't want them broken when we're putting the engine in or taking the engine out. So I went ahead and removed the battery, the plastic covers, I removed the intake, the air box, um, all that stuff. Um, so we just have a few things up top to unhook like the harness, the fuel line, um, we got to undo the exhaust, drive line, um, the um, transmission cooling line and uh, we'll probably be undoing the um, bottom of the struts the caliper ABS sensor and uh, we'll probably go ahead and undo those sway bar links and we'll get this whole cradle and motor ready to just drop out so super pumped to get to that but I just don't have the time this week we might get some time next week so over here we do have our brand new front rubber for the front windshield of the C10 um, I thought I had a brand new rear one. I already cut the glass out. It turns out I didn't have one, so I ordered one real quick last minute. Um, we also have brand new tail lights, brand new lenses for the tail lights, gaskets, more lenses. We got our rear side markers, and we have our front side markers. We have front turn signals coming on their way. We have brand new. Um, Collagen headlights. Now these will allow the use of a removable H4 LED bulb, which we already have. 
we have our brand new door locks brand new keys crank handles we have our headlight rings all polished up we also have um, some gaskets for the door handles window cranks um, our emblems are cleaned up and ready to go we did I did have some time not too long ago and I went ahead and recoated the inside um, nothing crazy I just used some uh, acrylic paint and it uh, worked out pretty good they look pretty darn close to OEM um, of course it's not the brightest red it's kind of like an orangey red but that is what they look like brand new from um, GM so there you have it lots of things in there there's our uh, fuel neck um, gasket so there's our LED light for our rear um, roll pan for the license plate we got our door handles I do believe one door handle was broken so I think I got to look back into getting another door handle so anyways get excited um, today is the final day for prepping I have to have it in the booth by the end of the day um, if not I might have a little time in the morning to get a uh, do last minute couple things and get it in the booth but uh, I'd really like to go in tomorrow just being able to wipe it down turn the booth on and get spraying so anyways like this video leave a comment down below hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and we'll see you on the next one Ooh, like LeBron, though, or like Bronzo. Ooh, I'm a baller, yeah, shot caller, yeah. They love me, you can't touch me, nah, can't trust me. I'm too lucky. Look at me, look at you, what you see, what you do.